Hi, I'm Pat Bhalla. I hope you're having a good and safe day. Welcome to the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Virtual Experience Program. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the basics of deploying a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure. In this lesson, we are going to deploy a very basic Windows 10 virtual machine with the easiest steps available on Azure. Without taking further time, let's get started. Now, first you log in to Microsoft Azure portal. Once you're on the Microsoft Azure portal, you can see on the left uh, the virtual machine section. You simply click on it. Now, you may see your uh, previous virtual machines in, in this tab right here. But since we're going to make one, you, uh, you can either select a, a preset configuration or a virtual machine. So in this tutorial, we're going to add a virtual machine and we're going to customize it. So click on virtual machine. Once you're on this page, these are the few steps that you need to create your virtual machine. Now in the subscriptions tab, you may select whatever subscription you'd like. For me, I have the Azure for student subscription. In the resource group, if you don't have one already, you may create one. But since I have a couple of test resource groups, I'm going to select one. In the virtual machine name, you may add whatever name you'd like. In my case, I'm going to add MSLA test 01. In the region, you may select whatever region you feel comfortable and the best is. In my case, I'm going to select East Asia or Central India. Let's go with East Asia for now. In the availability options, you don't need to uh, change anything. As this is a basic uh, tutorial, we're going to skip the advanced sections. Obviously, to know more, you may select, you may click on the eye icon and read the following and learn more by clicking these links. As I said, in the image, we're going to select Windows 10 Pro since that is the virtual machine we're going to deploy today. Now, in the size, you may select the uh, configuration of your uh, virtual machine. For this, we're going to use standard. You may see, you may see all the sizes here, or choose the one from uh, choose these ones. But for now, we're going to use the standard D2S, the administrator account. This is basically the account that you need that you uh, will need to log into your virtual machine. So, as in your PC, you make an administrator account. We're going to make administrator account for the virtual machine. Uh, let's use the username msla admin. In the password, you may enter your password. Now, these uh, in the inbound port rules, these are basically uh, options on how you'd like to connect to your virtual machine. You may select none if you'd like, but you'll have to add uh, the uh, ports manually. As a basic tutorial, we're going to add uh, RDP. This is remote desktop portal. We're going to select this. You confirm that you have the eligible Windows 10 license. Now you may either create the virtual machine from right here or select more options. For this tutorial, we're going to uh, go into next disks. Now you may select your disks here, standard HDD or premium and standard SSDs. Let's use premium SSD. You may add additional disks through here. We're going to skip these for now. In the networking section, you will have to either create a new one or select an existing one. Let's select an existing one. Now, this will give you a subnet. Either you manage your subnet configuration or use the default one. Once again, as this is a basic course, we're going to use the default one. Public IP, you may create one or use the one that uh, Azure gives you. Once again, these, you may select uh, how you'd like to connect to your virtual machine. You may use HTTP, SSH, or RDP. We're going to use RDP since I find it the most easy. Next, we go to management. Now, management is basically uh, the basic options that you'd uh, configure. Boot diagnostics, we're going to uh, disable that. OS guest diagnostics, you may learn, obviously, you may learn uh, more about them uh, by clicking the eye icon, by hovering over the eye icon. Auto shutdown, another favorite feature of mine. You may turn it on and select the times, but for now, we're going to leave that off. OS updates, you may select how you'd like to update or patch your virtual machine. We're going to leave it as it is. 
In the advanced sections, you may add extensions. Extensions, for example, these ones. You may add, let's say, malware, antivirus, and another, and a lot of more extensions. But for now, once again, since this is a basic course, we're going to leave them as it is. In the tags section, you may enter tags. You have a lot of resources and virtual machines to take care of. We're going to leave this empty. Now, you review and create your machine. Once again, validation has passed. This might take anywhere from 15 seconds to 5 minutes. Now, as you can see, the deployment is complete. My deployment almost took 3 minutes. Now, you click on go to resource. As you can see, all the settings here. You may, you may uh, go through these settings to learn more about advanced and the settings available of the virtual machine. As you can see, the virtual machine is already running. Now, we connect to the virtual machine. Connection is as easy as clicking this button. Once you click on this, you either select RDP, which is Remote Desktop, or SSH, or Bastion. Bastion is an Azure platform, but for now, we're going to use RDP. You may also open RDP by using Control R and then MSTSC. But for now, we're going to download the RDP file. To download the RDP file, you click on RDP, and right here you can download the RDP file. This step is way easier than manually entering your IP and your port number. You download the RDP file. Once it's downloaded, click on the RDP file to connect. Now you click on connect. Now here you click on more choices. If you enter your current user password it won't work. Click on more choices. Use a different account. Now you enter the usernames and password here that you used before. In our case, we're going to use the MSLA admin. You click on OK. You can either view the certificate or click on Yes. As you can see here, the virtual machine is booted up and ready to go. The initial boot up might take a few minutes. Now, the initial boot up will ask you for your privacy settings. You click on accept for now. And here we are in the virtual machine. Depending upon your connection, the virtual machine and the quality of the screen will look. But as we can see here, it's as perfect as a real desktop. You may use this virtual machine however you like. Install your softwares, test your bugs, or deploy your applications. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I tried to make this as short as possible and to the point. Obviously, MSLA program has more and more tutorials that you can take advantage of in learning about MS, uh, MS Azure. Feel free to watch more tutorials. Thank you and have a nice day.